Hey Kafkuba fans, this is a follow-up to yesterday's video where I went through some of my surprises and curiosities with respect to the 2.0-liter uh, turbo engine on my Jeep Wrangler with the e-torque uh, system. And just to step back a bit, I had another surprise I failed to mention yesterday. And it's these white doohickeys that I noticed in my wheel well that kind of stood out like a sore thumb. There's one on each side in the front end, and apparently after digging through the internet for long enough, I found a blog that essentially said that that tool was used by the um, guy working the floors at the manufacturer who holds on to that so he could torque the nut on the opposite side to the proper uh, specifications. And so it's sort of a tool, and there it stays forever, I guess. So that, that was kind of interesting. So there's one on each side on the front end of at least a Jeep JL. I don't know about the other models or series Jeeps. So anyway, back to the engine. As I mentioned yesterday, you won't find a whole lot on any Jeep website about the e-torque. Um, but if you look up mild hybrids and you, you dig around enough, you find some basic information that might help you understand how the system works. So hold on a second. So I drew this basic schematic from some of the online sites that advertise for other vehicles, their, um, their systems for uh, hybrid, or I should say mild hybrid. Um, and they like to throw around the term uh, power electronics a lot. Power electronics just means electronics that deliver power as opposed to communication systems or radios or TVs or the appliances in your house. Um, basically what it consists of, I walked you through this yesterday, you have your engine and somehow mechanically this motor generator unit, MGU, is attached to the crankshaft. So uh, depending on the controls in your vehicle, which you'll never find any information on because it's probably proprietary. I mean, you could try uh, contacting Ulysses S. Grant at the patent office, but I doubt he even gets it or would give it away. But um, So the motor generator unit is powered by the engine, and it makes AC, whether it's single phase or three phase, I'm not sure. I'm guessing single phase. And they advertise an inverter somewhere in this chain. So the inverter is here. Now, in order for the inverter to charge the battery, there must be a, uh, a converter to DC in here somewhere. So, you know, whether this is a, um, you know, I don't know the insides of this, but I'm guessing this makes AC when you're driving your vehicle or braking or whatever. And the AC has changed the DC and puts out 48 volts to the uh, lithium ion battery that I showed you yesterday on the bottom of the vehicle with the skid plate protection system. And then there's a DC to DC converter. So you can go from 48 volts to 12 volts to charge your normal 12 volt battery and whatever equipment is it can charge you know lighting or whatever it also runs off of 12 volts so 48 volts to 12 volts that's the dc to dc converter um so when you're running your engine you're charging your 48 volt battery via the inverter which changes ac to dc and when you need the assist from your 48 volt for um, uh, taking off that extra power that they uh, will give you the uh, extra torque at the beginning when you hit the gas is coming from the battery to assist the turbo and the engine so that you get a lot more torque that's why this mild hybrid system is able to have a better engine even though it's a four cylinder because it's giving you electronic boost that helps turn the crankshaft to overcome any uh, you know, low end torque weaknesses that your engine has. So there's a sensor of some type on the brake or tire that knows when you're braking. Maybe it knows when you're slowing down depending on the controls. And uh, whenever the control system says, okay, charge the battery, the motor generator unit becomes a inverter in this direction to a DC uh, uh, 48 volt battery. And then vice versa, when you need the energy to the engine, this turns into DC to AC to power the motor generator to turn the crankshaft. Um, I hope I explained that okay. Again, the motor generator unit is there. The regular 12 volt battery is here. The controls, I don't know where they're located. I haven't gone through it that much. Um, 
and whether the inverter is part of the motor generator unit or it's buried somewhere down here or it's somewhere in between i'm not sure either um and the other thing i don't know is whether the turbo has some kind of electronic assist um i suppose it could but i don't know you really can't tell there's a whole bunch of stuff connected to the turbo here maybe that's also electronic assist i'm not sure you won't get those kind of details at least that i've been able to find so um basically that's a walkthrough of the power electronics behind the e-torque on this um jeep two liter engine um i'm not sure if i'm leaving anything out that i wanted to discuss but basically you know 48 volts so why 48 volts versus 12 well everything is kind of basically everything in power electronics is and, and and all of electronics for that matter or for power electronics specifically power is really power is really what you want to know the, the the wattage or the capability of any of these components because from the power and the voltage you can determine the current that is provided um, i'm guessing maybe this is a higher voltage so that Everything here carries less current, and then maybe when you get towards the motor generator unit and the inverter, maybe everything up here is a little more bulky to provide more current at a lower uh, voltage. Um, well, I assume I don't know whether this motor, I don't know what the voltage of this motor generator unit is. You know, you're going to an inverter, so it gets kind of complicated, and you could probably give like a a, a semester on, on on how this thing works. But it would have been nice if somewhere in the manual it described all this. You know, just, you know, people uh, were laughing at me today saying most people who buy cars aren't engineers. They don't give a crap. They just want to know the torque and the horsepower. But, you know, I like to understand what's kind of going on here. And it's 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 an area that I'm interested in. Um, so. Oh, one other thing is. I think the battery is cooled by fluent and maybe even air. Um, and I'm guessing maybe the motor generator unit is i don't I, it looks like there's a coolant line on there that gray bracket so everything here based based on all these containers i haven't worked out the fluid system and i haven't worked out the intricacies of the electronics but at least now i have an idea how this works so hopefully that uh interest somebody and maybe gives them a little more insight as to what's going on with their their jeep wrangler with the, with the two liter engine so i don't want to go on and on and on but uh hopefully that's been helpful so i'm going to try to continue to learn more about this and if anybody has any links or information please let me know thanks thanks for tuning in